at the, at the beginning, let me introduce myself. So my name is Matthew Benko. I'm from Bern University of Technology. And at this presentation, I would like to present you something about the Kalman filters, which are our Bayesian estimation est estimators and uh, some application of them on battery state of charge estimation. But I would like to discuss more the, the parameter of the Kalman filters, uh, which are estimating the battery state of charge estimation and some of my future aims. Uh, uh, so at the, uh, in my presentation, I would like to present you what is the Kalman filter. Uh, what are some uh, generalization of the Kalman filters in case which uh, some assumptions to Kalman, Kalman filter is are, are violated, which is this case. And then some provide some discussion about the model parameters of Kalman filter and then the uh, estimation of battery state of charge itself. Uh, at the beginning, I would like uh, to to make it more interesting, I would like to show you what the Kalman filter is doing in, in this setting. So if you consider this simple example, uh, we have some, let's say it's in, in this case, a target, it is quite frozen, but he, he is moving uh, uh, and following some dynamical systems and we are obtaining some uh, noisy, highly noisy measurements. And we want to provide a estimate, estimation of the green hidden state, which, which do not know. Yeah? This is some case of, of airplane. And why I show, uh, what, why I'm showing you the case of airplane is because this algorithm was firstly used in, in an Apollo program to, to, to track the uh, Apollo module to, to, to fly to the moon and uh, his inventor was the Rudolf Emil Kalman. He was a Hungarian, originally Hungarian and then American mathematician. And he, he uh, edits some uh, state model to the Wiener filter. Uh, and he then uh, considering some uh, control theory uh, Control theory uh, proved that this is the best estimate estimator from the noisy measurement. And uh, I would also like to he, he use the control theory apparatus, but I would like to discuss and show you something from the statistical point of view because the Bayesian theory are equivalent to the control theory or, or in his case, the linear control theory. Uh, at this, at the beginning, of the start the theory behind the Kalman filter, I would like to uh, show you or discuss the very well known the hidden Markov model. The hidden Markov model means that we have some dynamic uh, model with the state x, uh, and we have some dynamic relationship between them by some differential difference, better say difference equations. But we do not uh, observe the states x. We, we observe some their uh, uh, the fu functions of them or their transformations. So I, I marked it like z with some added noise. And our aim is to observe from uh, the noisy observation the hidden states, considering uh, to, to do it the best. So. Uh, in this definition, this is some linear state space systems, but I would also, I would like to underline that we have uh, two systems of differences equations where the x, z, and v and w, v are uh, random vectors or random variables. And we have some dynamic systems uh, for the x, uh, where we have the, at the, time step k, the, 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 the state x is function of state at x minus one. And also we have given uh, its transformations with some added noise. Uh, I think it would be uh, nice to show you on the next slide on some picture, but uh, I will also only briefly would like to discuss that the uh, algorithm Kalman filter. I will discuss in the next slide on, 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 on scheme. 
uh, provides the uh, Bayesian the Bayesian estimation, which is minimizing the mean squared error and is unbiased. Uh, 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 some someone would like to ask me. It is Bayesian, so we are adding some upper information, and I'm saying it is unbiased. Uh, this is in this is unbiased and uh, has the is minimizing mean squared error in the case the if the reality fits this model uh, uh, theoretically well or precisely. Uh, and, uh, and at this slide, I would like to show what the Kalman filter is. Uh, we have some uh, uh, dynamic systems for X, and it's and for um, for this uh, at time step K, uh, we have uh, in, in some case the initial distribution or the posterior di distribution from the previous state or pre previous time step, and from the from the given dynamic model, we compute the a priori information. In the is the red circle. This is the uh, right uh, confidence ellipse, ellipse uh, because we are assuming the normal distribution. And also I would like to, uh, I, um, I forgot to mention that the assumption is that the model is linear. And uh, then we have a, a prior, prior distribution for the state and we then get the observation. And uh, now we have to com compute uh, some uh, posterior estimation of the state from which lies some, somewhere between prior distribution and observations. And uh, in classical Bayesian estimation of some, let's say, parameters of binary distribution, uh, uh, this is, this is uh, done or can be simply computed. But in, in this setting, with the noisy observations, there are some degrees of freedom. So uh, Kalman introduced uh, the so-called Kalman, optimal Kalman gain, which is such matrix which minimizes the, uh, the mean squared error. This is the, the reason why, why the Kalman filters minimizes the mean squared error and is unbiased in case the, 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 the model is the reality good, enough good. Uh, I would like to mention only in a few sentences this generalization of the Kalman filter. The reason is that in the application for the battery state of charge estimation, uh, we violate the, the assumption of the linearity of the state space model. And there are for the Kalman filters two, two, two typical ways to, to overcome this, this uh, violation of the assumption. The first, the, the, the simplest one is the linearization of the nonlinear relationship, uh, but which, which works well if the, if the transformation is not linear, but not far away from the linear function. And the, the second one I'm using in the battery state of charge estimation problem is the unscented Kalman filter, uh, which provides so-called unscented tra uh, transformation uh, from the properties, which means that from the property of normal distribution, uh, we, we choose some points, transform them, and compute the mean and the variance of the transform, transform points, some, which is some, something between Monte Carlo and, the, 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 and consider some, some knowledge about the, the normal distribution. Uh, this transformation works well in the case that the the, the real distribution of the transform points is symmetric. Uh, in case it wouldn't work well, uh, also some sequential Monte, Car Monte Carlo techniques would be would be incorporated, and they they also works well. And I will discuss them in the end of this presentation. And. Uh, this was I was I was talking about the Kalman filters that they are uh, unbiased and best estimators in case the 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 model fits the reality well. So the the the, the let's say target or, or system is following these dynamical systems, 
Uh, also, in some cases, we do not know the this dynamic model well, and the typical typical situation was uh, during the Apollo program or target tracking applications, which was the first applications of the Kalman filters. And sometimes we have to uh, find some uh, more find parameters of these dynamicals or observations models, and. Uh, we have to consider that these models are uh, dependent on some parameters and and, and find them. And uh, we can divide it, these parameters into, by two, two factors. The first factor is the geometric versus noise parameters. Uh, geometric parameters means the, the shape of the trajectory. When I was at the beginning, it's the matrix F and H. Which are which are uh, setting the, the 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 type of the dynamical or the state space system, and the second one are the noise parameters Q and R, which are the covariance matrices of, of random variables V and W, and they are saying how much the error is incorporated in this system. Uh, uh, I would like to mention on or recall that. It will be considered that uh, the uh, systems can be followed with some, not not precisely, but with proper value of the process noise or measurement noise, uh, because it's a stochastic process. And other dynamical, other dynamical, uh, or ad other parameters of the state space systems, or other factors to divide them is the dynamic versus observation model. We can uh, uh, we can estimate the dynamic system itself or observation model system itself. And I would like to mention the, the knowledge I uh, I find out during some study of the liter liter literature that we are not able to estimate the both geometric and noise parameters at the same time since the uh, stochastic vector consisting of all of them is not identifiable. It is the system, the likelihood of the systems are not able to distinguish if the error is caused by the wrong geometric parameter or noise parameter. Uh, we are able to estimate only the, the one. And uh, I, I, I've put some picture of the likelihood of the dynamic systems, but I think I would like to um, go forward or or maybe maybe I would like to discuss the only in one sentence the that we are able to to construct the likelihood of the Kalman filter. If I go back to this slide, we we can assess that uh, how much is the 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 prior mean of the prior distribution uh, far away from the measurements. With respect to the uh, system uh, systems variance, uh, which 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 is given by the process noise or also the measurement noise, and uh, considering this these these variable these these quantities, we can we can construct and we can discuss and uh, show the uh, how how the common filter is performing well in the in the time. And uh, the, the some shapes of this of these uh, uh, likelihoods I, I I have picked there, and also I discussed the precise shape uh, of, of the likelihood of the Kalman filter. Uh, only in one uh, some some remark that if we are uh, consider the observation. Uh, only the observe uh, the parameters uh, which are only influencing the observation model uh, in the likelihood uh, cannot be the the variance of the uh, dynamic systems. It it because in case if uh, uh, we use the likelihood of the dynamic systems to uh, uh, to estimate the parameters of the uh, observation model, the the, the the likelihood or the maximum likelihood is biased. Uh, this is only some notion because in some literature this is not mentioned, and I spend some a lot of time to 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 find these these properties. And 
Uh, I would like uh, in next slide discuss the, the estimation of the process noise uh, estimation. Uh, if we consider some dynamic model, uh, we are able to, uh, uh, to estimate the process noise, which tell us how much the dynamic system differs from the reality. Uh, but on the some uh, bad side of this thing, we are not able to provide uh, estimation of this process noise from the single measurements. We, we have to uh, uh, a set of a uh, lot of measurements to, to obtain uh, likelihood with enough information to, 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 to estimate the process noise, which, uh, which means the error of the, how the dynamic system differs from the real behavior of the, mo of the model or, or something. Uh, let's say battery in, in next slide. Uh, we can see that from the one vision rates, we, we do not have uh, the external value or the maximum of the likelihood. Also after five measurements, and we obtain uh, maybe uh, after 20, or we, we have more more measurements and to, to have uh, enough information from the experiment to provide the, the, the estimation of the process noise. Uh, also, I would like to only mention something that to estimate process noise uh, of the dynamic system, it is useful to compute numerical estimate from the dynamic system, the Jefferies pivot density, which maximizes the, 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 the information gain from the experiment. It really uh, improved the performance of the estimation very well. And now I would like to move forward and, and, and talk about the the battery state of charge uh, itself, because since now I've talking something about the Kalman filter theory and the estimation of parameters of Kalman filter, uh, I would like to uh, mention that the uh, battery state of charge problem, it's a very uh, problem discussed in recent years uh, since electric vehicles. To, because uh, for the batteries, with, for the bigger batteries, we have some problems with the aging of the battery, influencing by temperature, and it influences the, 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 the distance the electric vehicles would, uh, can access. And uh, it is desirable to, to estimate it very well. It, it, we cannot say how much energy in the battery is. We we only can we only can observe some behavior of the battery, and then from the behavior of the battery estimate the state of charge. Uh, I in in recent years the more, many categories of algorithms were were uh, used to provide the estimation of battery state of charge, but uh, the, the two most important were the neural networks or uh, some uh, uh, don't, not reproducible algorithms. And the second was the model-based algorithms, which is Kalman filter because he, it has the defined dynamic model and observation model. And the, the, the aim is to, uh, we have some noisy measurements of uh, current of, of the battery and the voltage at the terminal of the battery. And from these variables, consider some electric loads to, to estimate the, the battery state of charge. Uh, I'm considering this simply uh, uh, model and uh, in, in, in some articles, some, in some journals, the, this uh, model is more complicated, but they are then do not uh, consider the dependence on temperature of the variables. I'm considering the dependence on the temperature and so-called aging factor. So I have to use the more uh, the simpler model. And consider this first line, SLT, the state, uh, state of charge abbreviation. Uh, it, we are, I am considering that it is it, it is given by the by the state of charge at the previous state minus some some the current which uh, goes from, from the battery and uh, with some process noise. This process noise emission noise are very low in this case because I am following the 
model which is given by electrical or physical law. So I, I have to follow this very well. There's some some discrepancies which we, we are not considering the model. And the second line is the is the uh, uh, the transformation or the observation model because I'm uh, I have the observation of the of the uh, uh, the uh, voltage on the terminal of the battery. Uh, I would only say that something that uh, uh, in, in 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 that model I I consider the uh, current in the dynamic system, so I have to add some uh, noise to process noise uh, representing the observation noise of the of the current. But in 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 this setting, it has to be done into the the dynamic system, and uh, the, this uh, first three term in the voltage are representing the chemical factor of the battery and uh, I, I would like to talk something about the uh, estimation of the temperature and aging factor. Temperature and aging factor are, are uh, influencing the voltage at the terminal of the battery. Uh, I would like to say only that the aging factor of the battery does not mean only the age but is also the factor uh, Depend, depends, which depends on the humidity and the condition of the battery, and etc. So it's not it's not only the function of the charging cycles of the battery, and uh, also since the both temperature and uh, and aging factors are the uh, geometric parameters, we are able to uh, estimate them from the single measurements. So we can. We can then uh, assume some dynamic systems on the temperature and estimating the estimating the uh, time varying temperature, and uh, this the same is uh, valid for the aging factor. We, we can simply estimate it. And on the on the right pictures, I showed the 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 dependence of the of the voltage on the on the temperature value and also the aging factors. Unfortunately, we are not able to to estimating at the same time both of them since also they are not uh, uh, identifiable. But uh, at the, each second step, I can I can I am able to estimate the one of them. And then for this setting, I am uh, using the with using the extended or ascended Kalman filters, which are the generalization of the Kalman filters, I have I, I am able to estimate the battery state of charge getting uh, in, 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 with a good result. And at the in the end, as a conclusion or as the some remark on some further research, uh, we would like to uh, describe the the or, or describe the Markov process of the temperature and aging factor. And uh, and try to improve the estimation of them. Consider this Markov Markov uh, property to at each time step to obtain some some uh, good periodic distribution to improve the result. So that's that's all from me. Thank you for your attention.